Twin Valley Locker Room Show again brings you inside Clay Center Tiger football. The Twin Valley Locker Room Show is powered by Pulse Internet. All your devices want superior connection. We're joined by one of the Tiger coaches and a good friend of ours, J.D. Lane, and happens to be a dad on the sideline as well as a coach. Coach Todd Rice was going to have Coach Last and you uh, visit us today in the Locker Room Show, and he said, you know, there's a, quite a connection that happened between a Peyton Lane to a Connor Last last Friday night. I guess first off, talk about some of the emotions of the game from last Friday. Well, as a, as a coach and a dad, it gets harder and harder to manage all the time. And, and, and I found myself back and forth, you know, enjoying the moment as a dad and then trying to jump right back into the coach aspect of it. And, and, and it was almost surreal to see, you know, to be involved in that and then to see your, your kid have, you know, that experience. It, it just crazy. I can't imagine. I mean, I, I truly can't. What the emotions were like, I, I told Coach Trice earlier today, I said there were some deflated voices in the booth. That's the broadcasters. 225 left. You know, I said right before the play, unless the ball goes on the floor, I don't know that there's a real chance that the Tigers can, and all of a sudden, the ball goes <laughs> on the floor and in comes Levi Fitzmaier. I said we were deflated in the booth a little bit. No, we were. We were kind of like, uh, this doesn't look good. But the one thing I did notice, no Tigers were deflated. The sidelines, on the field, it just seemed like they were going to find a way. They, they really did. It was, you know, the kids were into it. Even the, you know, our younger kids that hadn't been on the field and knew they weren't going to get on the field in that situation. Uh, we had some of our seniors that had played almost every snap that were out in the beginning of that drive. And, and you could see along the sideline people getting, you know, more excited. And, and as they got further away from their goal line, a couple of our guys went back in and, you know, and it was more, you know, we got to get a stop here. We got to make something happen. And, and it was, you know, it's ironic you talk about that because I'd heard about the excitement of the broadcast and I just went back two nights ago and, and watched or listened to that again. And, and that, that's just, it, it's crazy how that all comes together. I've heard, you know, people say, no, we were saying our prayers in the stands and, uh, you know, I'm on the sideline, you know, saying, you know, come on, Dad, make something happen for us. And, and you know, trying to get the, the spirit of Blackie involved and, and it just, you know, something happened. And, and it's those kids, they didn't have any quit in them. They wanted to make something happen. And, and sure enough, it did. We've talked quite a bit this year on air and with just each other, you and I, and, and other coaches and other players even. This team won that football game last Friday night. Coach Rice and I have talked about it time and time again, and every week, wins or losses, this is a true team. It, it really is. We have, you know, from week to week, we have different kids that, that do great things for us, and, and it has been all year long, you know, a, a group effort, and, and yeah, we have some kids that have good stats or, or things that show up more on paper, but it is all about what they can get done. And, and it's, it's neat to see from having coached these, these guys from when they were in fourth grade on up. And, and they've been able to do some, some different things, some successful, some not, you know, on the football field. And, and it's just, it's really neat to see all of that come together, you know, as a unit and to bring those young kids along and bring the whole group in together. It's, it's really been fun to be a part of. So Peyton, JD's son, throws a laser. Connor last makes the catch in the end zone. We're tied. Now you got to kick an extra point, and it's Peyton coming back out. He's been dinged up. His ankle's hurting. He's gassed. The emotion's got to be going crazy. So a timeout, uh, Coach Rice earlier said, we weren't icing our own kicker. We just wanted <laughs> to get everybody kind of in the right positions and in the right mindset. Uh, you were a kicker high school and collegiately. Were you more nervous last Friday night than any kick you had? Uh, yes, <laughs> definitely so. Just, you know, having been in that, I know, you know, the mentality that it takes to be in that position and, and to want to, to be in that. You know, as a kicker, you think, yeah, I, I want that. As a dad, I'm not sure I was, I was ready for that. And, you know, as more of a special teams guy, you know, it, it is a little more nerve-wracking. But, you know, knowing the, the kid that was getting ready to kick, he, you know, he was ready for it. Chet Carlson said on the air, he was going to tell Peyton it was the most beautiful, ugly kick he's ever seen. To be honest, though, if you go back and look at the film, if he doesn't kick it in the manner he did, he didn't catch it clean, we know that. But it, for some weird reason, maybe Blackie was back there again, <laughs> it got through all those hands and through the upright. It did. You know, on game night, I, didn't, I just thought it was kind of an ugly kick, but a lot of times I'll say, hey, ugly but good. 
and going back and watching the film and seeing how close it was to getting blocked. If he kicks a perfect kick like he's been kicking, you know, in, in practice and warm-ups, that gets blocked. And for whatever reason, it was flat coming out through the uprights. You know, I think it was even under the arms of the guy that was coming in to block it, but it was good. And, and just to see the emotion uh, from our kids, the, the just excitement and, and relief in some manner, it, it was just incredible. You mentioned relief, and Coach Rice and I talked, and I brought up 1993. Uh, we all know the story. I also told him maybe we'll stop talking about it <laughs> now that the win has happened, but they hadn't won a playoff game since 1993. He said he didn't feel the players felt burdened, but they, they know what's going on, right? They do, and a lot of times as coaches, as, as parents or adults, you know, we, we don't talk about it, but we talk about it a lot, and, and it comes up, and it's always there, and and they feel that pressure. They, you know, they may not think they do. They may not act like they do. But just, you know, inside you can tell that they feel that pressure of, of we want to do this for our community. We want to do this for our school, for each other. And, and just in seeing that relief on their faces, you could tell they really wanted it. And, and they, were, they were not going to be denied. Tell us about this week for you guys. Um, this is a team, as we said, that seems to come to work every week and look forward. It would be really easy to go with that relief. We did it. That's enough. That's not their feelings though, is it? It's really not. It's, you know, this is that time of year when, you know, we leave practice and the lights are on on the inside the track and it's like, hey, it's, it's dark out. We're not used to, to being around this, you know, this time of year. And, and you look around and, and see, hey, there's only eight teams left, you know, there's there's a couple of games and we're in the big one and and that's really what they're focused on but but they're relaxed I mean they're you know you can tell they're 16 17 18 year old kids um, but they they are focused and they they come out and they enjoy each other and they're they're looking to get you know some good things going this Friday night and I know we're excited the town's excited the area is excited I, I think it's going to be an electric atmosphere get out to the den and support this team. They're a fun group to be around and a fun group to watch. Coach, I know you got to get to practice. Appreciate it, and uh, go get them Friday night. All right, thanks a lot, Rob. The Twin Valley Locker Room Show.